while we're talking about something that happened not far from where we are in D.C., a valedictorian at the University of Maryland is gaining some notoriety back home in China. Here's a story. Yao Shuping took to the podium Sunday to talk about why she chose to be educated in the U.S. She focused on fresh air and free speech. She talked about how she has had to wear face masks growing up because of China's heavy pollution and that she has enjoyed breathing fresh American air. While people online were quick to pounce, turns out Xu Ping is from the city of Kunming, which is known to be one of China's least polluted cities. Many on Weibo are accusing Yao of lying and of reinforcing stereotypes. This topic quickly became multiple hashtags, and this one made the top trending topic on Weibo for a while. Many are telling her she's not welcome home. This Weibo user said, please don't come back here, continue breathing American air. Xu Ping has since taken to Weibo to apologize. She says she loves and is proud of China and her hometown, and she had no intentions of belittling it. Now our next trending topic, a five-year-old boy that cost his parents thousands by just ripping the money up. This little guy found some hidden cash in his home when his parents were out. He sat down and ripped up all the notes. All 50,000 yuan, that's over $7,000. His father showed it to the bank and they told him he needs to piece it all back together for them to exchange it to new notes. After two days, he only managed to fix a few notes. He said he criticized his son but couldn't punish him because he's just too young to understand what he did. Some mixed reaction on Weibo, a lot of laughter, but also some jealousy. Some saying they'd definitely be punished by their parents if they did something like that. And finally, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That's what this guy is doing, 21 times to be exact. This 50-year-old businessman has been taking China's Gaokao exam every year since 2001. Even though he failed it a few times as a student, he still became a successful businessman, but he always wanted to go to college. He's aiming to get into a top school and has not quite made the grades yet. People online cheering him on, saying he's an inspiration to many. And that's a quick look at trending topics on Chinese social media. You can find out more about what's trending with the Digital Hub on Facebook, Twitter, and Weibo. Remember, you can always tell me what's trending by writing to me at Audrey Seek. And don't forget to follow us online at CGTN America.